In this episode, I thought I'd have a crack at spear fishing. So I love snorkeling and I love fishing. So I thought it's time to put the two together. Stick around and come underwater with me. Seriously, cannot even explain how much I enjoyed that. So much so that we now have a problem. I've got a gun and I want to go all the time. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm up bright and early because I'm seriously so excited. So we are going underwater today and I absolutely love snorkeling and I always have. So when I was over in WA, I got the snorkel and the flippers and yeah, I just really loved it. And now obviously I like fishing. So today we're gonna have a crack at spear fishing, which I've absolutely never done before. I don't even know how to use a gun. So I didn't buy a gun yet. I'm just gonna borrow one and see if I actually like it first. But yesterday I did go into Cairns and I got a wetsuit. So I got a three and a half mil wetsuit, which might actually be a bit too thick for up here, but I can use it for when I travel around anyway. And I got a belt and some weights. So I thought that I would come down to the beach and watch the sunrise. So this is Kawara Beach. It's probably like 25 minutes north of Cairns and all the northern beaches are just so pretty so yeah I'll just wait until it comes up a little bit more and then we'll get the drone up and we'll have a look from the sky but yeah I actually do feel like I'm cheating on Jazz today I'm not going on her ski but I do have a funny feeling that I'm gonna really enjoy it so yeah we'll have a crack and we'll see how we go <laughs> How stunning is this whole area? So over that hill on that side, that's Trinity Beach and Trinity Park. Then that's Earl Hill, it's like a bit of a hiking trail. And then here is Kawara Beach, and then it goes Clifton Beach and then Palm Cove. And this whole strip is just stunning. I love it. But we're gonna start making our way further up north. So I'm gonna to head towards Port Douglas and that's where the ski's going in. And also another little update on the car. I ordered a tow bar. So I'm getting that installed on Monday. And yeah, now Jazz and I will be able to take her ski, hook it up to my car and we can take it far and wide. <laughs> My flippers are still covered in red dirt because they used to live in my tub and that just stains so much. And yeah, here's the snorkel and my wetsuit.
So now that I'm a little bit more comfortable with being underwater, it's time to start looking for some crayfish. So crays are found in bommies, in little caves or little crevices, but sometimes in the caves you do get sharks. I seriously cannot even explain how much I enjoyed that. It's so cool actually going underwater. Although I am still gonna be like very cautious of sharks. That actually did scare me quite a fair bit. But the visibility under the water in Cairns is actually really good. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. So much so that we now have a problem. I've got a gun and I wanna go all the time. So I am gonna get two more weights to put on my belt as well. And I do need longer flippers, I reckon, just so I can actually get down a little bit quicker and get back up a bit quicker too. Because obviously I'd need to start practicing my breath work and like relaxing on the top and going down and actually trying to calm my body down, especially when I'm underwater too. So I'm just gonna keep practicing that. They actually do some lessons up here somewhere in Cairns. So I might even look into that as well. Cause yeah, I just really, really enjoyed being underwater. I'm in the process of like sorting out my canopy and just cleaning it out a little bit. I wanna like organize all my camera section in here too. So my back seat at the moment looks very messy, but at least the boss canopy, it looks very bare and fresh but I have just pulled up to my favorite beach. So when we went to out on the water the other day, that was actually a couple days ago. So today it's now Monday. So I wanna show you guys something at the rear of my car. I now have a tow bar, which is so cool that I can actually tow stuff. And yeah, it's just really handy to have as another recovery point as well. So I'll show you that. Let me know if you guys enjoyed being out on the water with me too. I actually will get a strap that goes on my goggles just so I can actually use my GoPro and do everything at the same time because I was trying to learn, trying to breathe, trying to look for crays, trying to look for fish and then also trying to film for you guys. So I hope the footage was still okay but I'll get better at that the more that I do it. And yeah, I think that will help heaps. So thank you so much for watching guys. I know this video was a little bit different to normal. But yeah, let me know if you want to see more of that and I'll see you guys in the next one. So just as I finish the video, I get a phone call from Jasmine, who was actually just so stuck on this beach. <laughs> so the new tow bar worked very well. She's lying. It never happened. Definitely not. Pinky it. promise. <laughs> so something's happened again. <laughs> now we actually have proof of it. So first it was up there, but that's easy fix. <laughs>